In today's recipe, Ray and I are going to show you how we make vegetable lumpia, also known as lumpia gulai. Vegetable lumpia is a Filipino spring roll that's stuffed with a variety of vegetables and little morsels of ground pork and shrimp. To make vegetable lumpia, you'll first want to prep the vegetable filling. Start off by chopping up some green beans. To prep your green beans, first wash them and break off each end. And then diagonally chop each one so that they're about 1 eighth of an inch thick. You'll want about 1 and 3 fourths cups worth of chopped green beans. Next up are carrots. Take a peeled and washed carrot and cut it into about 1 8 inch thick circles. And then take those circles and slice them into little strips. Repeat these steps until you have one cup of chopped carrots. Last but not least is the cabbage. Take a quarter of a cabbage and simply shave off shreds by cutting at an angle. By the end, you'll want about three cups of shredded cabbage. When you're ready to start cooking the vegetable filling, start off by pouring in two tablespoons of oil into a wok over medium heat. Next, throw in half a small sliced onion and saute it until it becomes translucent. Then add in two cloves of minced garlic and saute them until they're fragrant. Afterwards, drop in one fourth of a pound of ground pork. Continue cooking everything until the ground meat looks just about cooked. Once the meat looks fairly cooked, add in your green beans and mix them in. Pour in about one tablespoon of water and then cover your wok with a lid. Allow everything to steam for roughly two minutes. When it's done steaming, throw in your shredded cabbage and then add another one tablespoon of water followed by three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Mix everything together. We ended up adding another two tablespoons of water just because it seemed like there wasn't enough to steam the rest of the vegetables. Go ahead and cover your wok again and steam everything for another five minutes. Afterwards, drop your carrots and mix them in. Cover the vegetables one last time and steam for another one to two minutes. Now just place your vegetable filling into a strainer that's placed on top of a bowl. Next, take the vegetable broth left over and pour it into a new pot. We'll be using this liquid to cook the shrimp for the filling. To prep your shrimp, just take one that's already been fully peeled with the tail removed and cut it down the middle. And then chop it up into little pieces. You'll want about one fourth of a pound of shrimp by the time you're done. Next, drop your shrimp into the pot. If you find that the vegetable broth doesn't fully cover your shrimp, just add some chicken stock. Bring your shrimp to a boil. Once it's at a boil, immediately turn it off and your shrimp should already be fully cooked at this point. Now strain the broth from the shrimp. Add the shrimp to the vegetable filling and mix it in. At this point, it's finally time to start rolling your vegetable lumpia. First, take a lumpia wrapper and place it on your rolling surface so that it looks like a diamond from your point of view. Then take roughly two to three spoonfuls of your vegetable filling and evenly spread it across the center like so. Next, tightly fold up the bottom corner. Then firmly grab the portion with the vegetable filling and fold it over once as well. Now, fold over the right and left corners inwards. Then, roll everything forward about twice over. Afterwards, dab your finger in some egg wash and spread it across the top corner of your wrapper. Now, just roll it forward and you're done rolling your first vegetable lumpia. Repeat these steps until you've used up all the vegetable filling. When you're done, it's finally time to fry them up. Place your vegetable lumpia in about half to an inch deep of oil that's been preheated over high heat. Since the filling is already fully cooked, all you want to do is crisp up the wrapper and fry it to a nice light golden brown color. Our oil was already super hot, so it literally just took a couple seconds to fry up both sides of the vegetable lumpia. So depending on how hot your oil is, your frying time may vary. Once they're done, Transfer them into a strainer or paper towel to allow the excess oil to drip off. And you're done! 
To learn how to make the vinegar sauce for the vegetable lumpia, check out the link in the top right corner. Because oh my gulai, you should not be eating vegetable lumpia without it. It's telegang tasty.